Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Kylie Cosmetics Sailor Collection for summer 2020. There are only five pieces in this collection, so it's one of her smaller collections. So I'm super excited to try everything out today. Everything looks super cute, and I will show you guys all the products in the collection. So let's get started. So I did all of my face makeup and I will have all of the products that I used listed down below in the description box just so that the products that we're using in this video are just from the Kylie collection. So we're going to start out with the eyeshadow palette because we're going to start with the eyes. So this is the box that the palette comes in. It has like this little cartoon Kylie drawing. All the shades are named on the back of the palette. And then this is the palette itself. It's so, so cute. It's an adorable little mirror on top. And, and this is a close-up of the palette. There are a bunch of neutral shades, so the palette definitely looks like it would be very wearable. That, you know, you could use it every day. It's not, doesn't have any super crazy colors in it. However, it does have two blue shades and it has like this matte red shade as well. So I think I'm gonna try and incorporate a little bit of the blue into the look today. To kind of play around with a little bit of color. But overall, these shades do look very wearable. To start out the eyes, I'm going to go in with my NYX Cosmetics Concealer and just prime my lids like I always do before applying any shadow so we get the best pigmentation. And then I am just going to tap that out with my Beauty Blender so that there's no crease lines in the concealer. So to start out the eyeshadow, I'm going to use the shade Tidal Wave, which is this matte neutral color. I'm just going to drag this all across the crease and the outer corner. To kind of deepen that shade up, I'm going into the shade Wavy on a Morphe M441 brush. I'm just applying that right over top of the same spot on the eye. Now over top of the outer corner, I'm going into the shade Blue Ocean, which is this matte, really deep blue color. And I'm just going to place this right on the outer corner of the eye. And I'm going in with a Real Techniques buffer brush and just softening this outer corner and making sure that it's blended really nicely. And I'm deepening that outer corner up with the shade on board, just applying that right over top and then I'm going to add a little bit more blue afterwards. And I am reapplying the same deep blue shade. And then I'm going in with a smaller blending brush and just blending this again, making sure it's super soft. Using the shade Slay Captain which is this lighter neutral color. And I'm just placing this on the inner half of the crease. Now I do wanna use the shadow sticks in the collection. So there are two shadow sticks and these are, this is the first time Kylie has ever released any kind of eyeshadow stick before. Again, the packaging is absolutely adorable on this. And then these are the two shadow sticks. So we have the shade Rock the Boat and Sandy Cheeks. This is the shade Rock the Boat. It's this rose gold cream eyeshadow color. So, so pretty. And then we have the shade Sandy Cheeks, which is a gold cream eyeshadow. Those are the two shades. They're highly pigmented. And I swatched these the other day on the back of my hand. And they to wash them off. They didn't just like wash off like normal powder eyeshadow would, so I would definitely say that they're a little bit longer lasting. So for the inner half of my lid, I'm going to use the Sandy Cheeks eyeshadow stick, which is the gold color, because I think that that will look really pretty with the blue. I think Kylie Cosmetics, there was a look like this done on Kylie for this collection on Kylie Cosmetics Instagram, so I think that it was gold. So I thought that that looked I just know that I saw a blue and gold combination and it looked really pretty. So I'm going to try this out and see how this works. And I am just tapping it a little bit with my finger to help kind of blend it out. So this is how that looks. I love this color combo. And I think that these cream eyeshadows, as I was kind of tapping them out on my lids, this cream eyeshadow stick versus like other cream eyeshadows don't seem to be super movable when they're on your lid is kind of where you place it is where it is like I don't feel like I have to set this at all or that it would transfer onto the upper part of my lid or anything like that because sometimes cream eyeshadows will like transfer and you kind of have to set them with a powder eyeshadow but these I really feel like they're very in place don't move around in the like during the day and as you wear them they are a little bit harder to kind of move around on your eye and spread if you had to do that but the nice thing is that this is in a pencil form, so you literally draw 
the eyeshadow wherever you want on your lid. So overall, I would definitely say that I'm super happy with this formula. So now back to our palette. I'm going to go in with a small flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going into the shade Deep Sea, which is a light gold glittery color. And I'm just going to place this on the very center of the lid. It'll just kind of add some flakes of glitter to that gold. And I'm not going to go too crazy with this, but it does add like a nice little hint of glitter. Using another flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going into the shade Captain Cutie, which is a lighter shimmery color. Just placing this on the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm using a pencil brush and going into the shade Unsinkable and just placing this on my brow bone. And then for my lower lash line, I'm going to go into the shade On Board and just drag this across just to help balance out the eye. Now I'm going to apply some black liquid liner. This is just the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and I'm just going to create a wing with this. So I'm starting out by drawing a straight line across my upper lash line and then flicking it out and then dragging that outer wing back in. And then I'm just using a black pencil liner. This one is from Tarte and I'm just going to line my waterline. What I'm probably the most excited for for this particular collection is Kylie finally released a pair of lashes. So this is the packaging. It's so cute. It, these are the shady lashes. And then this is what they look like. Let me take this clear off so there's no reflection. This is what they look like. So they look so pretty. So I can't wait to actually try them on. So I'm just going to apply some duo lash glue to the lash band and pop these on. And then I'm just going to apply some Too Faced Mascara to the top and bottom lashes. Before we test out the lip products in the collection, I'm going to apply my highlighter. I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Highlighter in the shade Ice Me Out. And I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and a little bit above my eyebrows. So for lips, there is a matte liquid lipstick lip kit in the collection. This is the packaging. It's absolutely adorable. So this is in the shade Kiss Me Sailor. And this is the lip liner and then the matte liquid lipstick. This looks like such a gorgeous shade. I cannot wait to try it out. I'm just going to start out by using the lip pencil just to line my lips. And then I'm just going to top that off with the matte liquid lipstick. There is a high gloss in this collection and this is the packaging. It has little cute anchors on it. This is in the shade Private Island. It's this red high gloss. It's super pretty. Um, I'm just going to lightly apply some of this over top since it has like a red tint, but it's not necessarily like a bright pigmented red. And I just want to add some gloss to this look. So I'm just placing this right over top of that matte liquid lipstick. So this is the finished look. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. So my final thoughts on this collection, I'm super happy with it. I think the packaging is absolutely adorable, but Kylie always comes through on the packaging. Um, I'm super happy with the quality of all the products. It's her typical eyeshadow formula, which I personally really like. I really liked the eyeshadow sticks as well. I think that the formula is really nice and I'm super happy with the high gloss. I love Kylie's high glosses. Probably one of my favorite gloss formulas. So yeah, I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Hit the bell button to turn on your post notifications so you're notified when I upload a new video every week. You guys can also find me on Instagram at Victoria Costanz and on Twitter at Vic Costanz. So be sure to go follow me on there and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.